The Skateboard Watchtower Movie Review is brought to you by... Spoken to my pet. I'm sorry. Go, go, Godzilla! Go, 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 It's Godzilla. okay. He does love you. Uh, and it's not the new Godzilla. This one is the old version of Godzilla. This is good. Uh, 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 it's Godzilla! Uh, yeah. So that's going to be... What are we doing today? Before we go there, this preview is brought to you by... Game store and, and more. more. Marion, North Carolina. Marion, North Carolina. United States. World Earth. Oops, okay. So for all you extraterrestrials out there, you know where it's at now. Come get your movie at Game Store and More. All right then. <laughs> yeah. So what did Game Store and More allow us to have this time? <gasps> go, go, Godzilla. This is not the crappy Godzilla of Matthew Broderick, okay? <laughs> this is not the crappy one. Well, I'll tell you, they're really the critic right now, aren't you? Not the crappy. I agree with you. Yeah, okay. Now, this actually is a... Fairly uh, decent. Fairly decent one. Even though, I have to say, the main star was, was not that, the main yeah, star. Yeah, I, I, I will say that. It um, was like maybe 10 minutes out of the whole movie, but it was a good setup and getting it. But it did have so like, overall good cast. Brian Cranston. Uh... uh, uh I cannot think of the uh, the the kid's name. Yeah, the Japanese uh, Wantanabe. Yeah, Ken Wantanabe. Yeah, well, I definitely would. Uh, uh, and then uh, there were several others that was in it. And, and it uh, leads into yeah. another film we reviewed, uh, Kong Skull Island. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And I gotta say because I didn't like the but like I said the one in Matthew Broderick. That guy's really looked more like an iguana. Uh, yes, and he I did. Like, he looked like an iguana. It looked like they were trying like too hard to make him. And the thing that I didn't like about this one was the mall thingies. They looked too square for a rectangular. But face. Godzilla looked. But Godzilla looked. He actually looked pretty good. And but and regardless, they, yeah. As far as the movie goes, I mean, it, it sets it up. It's a good story. Doing. I mean, and, and it's, again, it's one of those tragedies that turn to tragedy to. Tragedy, tragedy to, into a good thing. So yeah, yeah, um, and I mean, it's got some great visuals and some great set crazy. design as far as that goes. And I like how they use an actual disaster because they're the uh, power plant, the, uh, the, the nuclear power plant. nuclear power plant in Japan. I believe yeah, Japan, Japan. Uh, melted down and had to explode. The reactor went blue. It's because of Godzilla. They they use something that really happened to put on transplant Godzilla into. That's what I always thought was kind of cool. But Godzilla didn't cause the no no they didn't Godzilla cause that. So it that was Mothra. It was the bad guys in this one. And uh, but I did love how they set that up and everything with, with the whole. Uh, yeah. and, and the story takes place from all the way from uh, the nineties, I believe. The, the Korean no from 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 Japan all the way to oh, wow. America. Yeah. Yeah, from to Honolulu and into San Francisco. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, so they use the, the, the setup, it, it was perfect. Yeah, and yeah. I mean, when I saw it, I was skeptical. Because when I first watched uh, it, I was kind of like, eh, okay. I'm like, yeah, because this is the other one that, 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 that he said, you got to watch guys. I'm like, dude, I hate, unless it's the old guy, that he's, and I told him about the Matthew Broderick one, and he's like, which 
you know, the, well, so I had uh, Gene Reno in it, uh, and I'm like, and he's like, no, 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 you'll like this. So Godzilla totally looks different. He's, I'm like, okay. I still didn't like all the spines that they had showing yeah, yeah, But, yeah, I, I mean, mean it did look good. I mean, he got up, and, okay, I can dig this one here. And and, and this is one, like, the very first ones I think we're going to, re- that we've started reviewing that we have some problems with that kind of knock it down some. I'm old school. Yeah, I'm and, old school, and I mean, too. I mean, and I mean you got to understand, I remember growing up with the Saturday morning afternoon Movies and you got to see some of the old Godzilla films. You got With, to see even King uh, Godzilla and his son Godzuki. Yeah, Godzuki. Well, I mean, you and uh, Kong versus Godzilla, and, Kong and, versus... and 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 they were really cheesy. But Sorry, dude, Kong. They were really but... cheesy, but that's the that was the warmth to them. That was the the catcher. I but mean, that was the but that was what the charm. Were that was written back. Yeah, yeah, yeah it was the way it was, it was written. Like, I mean, because that time it was. You don't have the, the setup for CGI and stuff. Oh, and no. Had, that's why they had a guy in a suit, man. I mean, and that was actually one of the first times where they actually put a guy in a suit meant to trash an a, a entire city. That's miniature. Because yeah. when they did King <laughs> Kong in the 30s, it was all stop-motion animation. They used an ape, but it's small. But with Godzilla, they were trying to amp it up a notch and kind of reverse engineer everything. And it worked. I, and I it did it. work, and, and but uh, but now let's let's get. I want to yeah, 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 let's get. Yeah, yeah, let's get. Um, uh, once again, like I said Brian Cranston surprised me. He played a great part. Yeah, yeah. I've always been a big fan funny. of Brian Cranston. Uh, and it's amazing you don't see somebody until they you start seeing. You know, you don't think you think Sleepy see him on TV like he did for Breaking Bad. Oh yeah, that's where everybody knows you from. But he's been in so many movies, man. And, and, like, and like, like like I've seen him play everything part. from Buzz Aldrin to. Malcolm's dead and Malcolm in the middle, which is where and, I was introduced to. And him. you wouldn't think about that because yeah. you got breaking because they, they they promoted Breaking Bad over the majority of stuff. Yeah, that's where you get it from. But I mean, I love his new movie yeah. that he come out with with uh, where he plays the the paralegic and uh, uh, paraplegic. Yeah, and the uh, uh, oh, I can't think of his name now. Yeah, yeah, where I, yeah, I thought that was actually that pretty was a good. great little movie. But we'll get that one later. Yeah. But, this one for Godzilla. I gotta say, when I, when I looked at this one, once, I said I was kind of, kind of skeptical. You have to be, and man. I'm like, but I started watching, it and but it was enough to keep my interest. Yes. And yes. when I watched it, it's like, okay, it's still not to me not up to. I'm started. I still think those. I, those I agree early, completely. Even though they were black and white, even though they was done in miniatures. And, stuff. and also me, the dubbing was not that great because these movies were made in Japan. Yeah. And, and I still love those over this one. But I have yeah. to say I did I did like it. That's all I'm gonna say. So yeah, yeah, we're yeah. gonna we're gonna finish this one up pretty quick. I mean cause because it's, what, Well, let's go ahead and when I watch it again, I may watch it again. Yeah, I'm I'm the same way I may have it, seen it maybe ten times. But maybe. it's something I would watch over and over and over. No, not exactly. It's I'm not, the same way. I'm the so, same way. And all right, so we're going to say from, from one to five, entertainment wise. I'm going to give it a three and a half. Just because. I'm going to say something. Just because. Yeah. Uh, I didn't see enough of who the movie was named after. Yeah, I didn't see enough of Godzilla and for me to. But at the same time. Once more, yeah, they should okay, have called yeah, it. They should have called it the the the, the rectangle mo, uh, rectangle head moth people. I think they just should have called it Mothra, but moth, yeah, because that's all you've seen of it. But okay, and I'm gonna say the same thing. I'm gonna say about three and a half. I give it three and a half. Um, and that may push up, but just because of Brian Cranston. Yeah, so, yeah. So, I, I, I could push maybe to. Well, no, we'll say three and a half. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so as far as authentic, authentic, authentic. That, that worked. Uh, one to five. I'm going to go first on this one. Because this is where I'm catching that. Because like I said, when you watch, you grew up with the old stuff. Yeah. That's yeah. what you judge. That is, I'm sorry, that is the ultimate judgment system. Yes. How yes. you judge all the stuff that comes out. Exactly. You're put through the ringer. And I mean, yeah. Anytime so, that they bring something back from the 40s, 50s, or 60s, you have to kind of hold that up and then go that Even way. though the modern the modern stuff they have to make this movie, it still doesn't uphold to the charm. Entertainment, the charm 
the excitement yes. of what you saw because when when on your kid and you heard that Godzilla was gonna be on TV at three o'clock, guess where you was at? You were at and you probably invited your friends. And his friends was sitting around and your mom made popcorn. My dad was at the store picking up drinks and other stuff and we're coming in with So this I, I couldn't I couldn't And you had your little Godzilla figures. Yeah, if you play with Godzilla stuff I I was wasn't that lucky because I was on a. I had maybe one or so. two. <laughs> we, we used stick figures. <laughs> uh, well, like Godzilla I said, when stuff, I was so. a kid, there was a well, resurgence well, of Godzilla. Yeah. So we're doing this. So I'm going to say, as far as authenticity, I, I do love how the, the they use a lot of stuff into it. But yeah. as far as the authenticity to the old, I'm gonna I'm gonna get it low. I'm gonna get low. I, where I, have I been? Gonna, again, I'm gonna probably go with three and a half. I'm gonna go with two and a half. You so, because um, I mean I. When he met me, if it I had talked about a lot of the older school stuff than I ever talked to something about a remake. So, I'm very subjective more than he is on that. So yeah, that's what blows my mind because <laughs> he's with the finger. So all right, but now far as popcorn value, again, where are we going to take with you? I'm gonna go with six. I'm going on as low as six because it's not something I would watch over and over. You're again. actually being the critic today. You just be with the critic. You're actually being the critic. I was going to give it a six and a half because, uh, like I said, I love the that they're, that they're, they changed up Godzilla from being looking like a yeah. A I mean, I give them the effort. Lizard, but and, as but far at the same as time, looking, I mean, you have but they did have they did have the atomic ray man. That's why I'm giving that extra half at six and a half. The thing with me, though, is on this is I give them the effort for trying and trying to make Godzilla kind of going back to its origins. But at the same time, they're not really going back to an origin of Godzilla that existed. But we will and say this. We will say this because if you watch it, it leads at you into the end of, it leads you into what's going to be coming up. With all the, uh, which leads to Godzilla versus King Kong. No, Mothra and the or the monster, the one that's come out here last. Do you remember Godzilla uh, versus King the of the Monsters? I think it was yeah, Godzilla yeah, King where of he the has Monsters. Spots all, but that's where he probably has. The and also the then they also but it's also setting up for the King Kong. Yeah, Kong Skull Island because Godzilla. they mentioned uh, Monarch Project Monarch, and that's the thing with this movie. Would I watch it again over and over again? No. I might watch it once in a while. I'm like, okay, I'm going to watch something I haven't watched in a while. Okay, I'm going to watch Godzilla. But it's good. It's good. I, Me personally, if you can find the originals, watch the originals. Watch the originals for the other things. So even though they're, like I said, they're like cheesy, they're still best. Yeah. I mean, just but, um, something about them. But, all righty then. In closing? Hey, in closing, yeah, okay. Godzilla's out of here. Yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> uh, so, you tell me what's been our worst movie so far. Uh, yeah, right, that's, that's this it. is the so, low blow. But, yeah, <laughs> so, uh, I mean, like I said, I, I got to give it, it it's due it's because it is a good one. But other than that, guys, thank you for watching. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. Thank you for flying the, these airlines with us. It is terminal time that we have. And with that being said, Konnichiwa. From myself, Del McCoyle, and Nick Revis. Nick Revis. Want to say, love, peace, and chicken and grease. grease. We're out of here to go do another movie. All right. Sayonara. <laughs>